Hello, good afternoon everybody. My name is Julie and welcome to this afternoon's uh, video. Uh, I re bought a Singer sewing machine, a vintage one, um, a couple of weeks ago. And on a previous video I was just showing you around it and um, how delighted I was. And that's still the case. I've used it a lot in the last week or so, making a few things. I haven't really sewn since school. That's a long time ago now. And even then, at school, I didn't learn a great deal. So this has been fantastic. It's very, very easy to use. It's not electric. It's a hand crank sewing machine. So it works by your hand. And it's so simple to use and easy to use. Um, I've been oiling it regularly, so that's good. Um, she's a dear old lady. I, I love using it. And I have made a couple of things, which I'm going to show you today. Um, you have to remember I'm amateur. I'm an amateur sewer, so I'm not professional and I'm learning on the job. I've made a couple of little pads, funny pads I call them. So you can put your scissors and your, your picker, unpicker here and some needles and some pins. And it's a little pad which to be putting on this sewing machine to protect it a little bit. So you've always got things to hand. So I thought it was a little a good little idea. And as I said, I made it out of scraps in the very beginning when I first did sewing. So they were a bit rough, but they're really useful. And I put little sections in to put my scissors and a pencil and, as I said, some pins and things like that. And I made a couple because I intend to get another sewing machine, which I shall show you um, when, I, when I get one. And um, yeah, I'm just pleased with the way that the, the sewing machine is working. I, I really would recommend anybody wanting a sewing machine, uh, a simple one, to buy uh, a vintage one because it would stop the landfill and the, these work perfectly well as long as you oil them and the oiling is, is really simple, it's in the top here and I, as I said I bought myself a little oiling can, a little metal one and I just oil it and keep it, uh, keep it nicely uh, Oiled, so it runs really well and that's a little oil can I bought which is quite cute and I have also made something else for Coco now I've got a little Yorkshire Terrier and I introduced her in another video when I bought her a ball with treats inside to keep her occupied and I've made her a little coat and I'm going to show you Coco's little coat this is Coco over here hello Coco she's still with her ball so um, this is the little coat I've made for Coco and um, she's quite happy wearing it. It's uh, a little Velcro, a little Velcro um, collar. And also at the side, I've made a little pocket here to put your poo bags in. And she can carry them herself. And there's three poo bags in there, so it's quite cute. And she doesn't mind wearing it. It's quite warm. And I put some Velcro underneath and it's got hearts on and uh, she looks very very cute in it and she's quite happy as I said to wear it and um, it's better than her other one she's got another one which is for wet weather and this is for colder weather so uh, she's just modeling this today and I thought she looked very very cute in it and as I said she um, she's got this little pocket at the side here which I put a little heart button on and inside she carries her own little poo bags which I thought was really cute and it fits really nicely. I put a little blanket inside and sewed around the edges and as I said it fits underneath her belly and <laughs> she's rolling over and showing you her belly and it's a velcro closure and a velcro closure here so it's nice and loose around her and it, but it's not too not too tight and it's not too loose that she um that's her favorite pose by the way it's not too loose that it falls off um and she's just really happy she's happy wearing it i think it will keep her very warm in the winter so it's just something you can make for them um in your spare time you know and these sewing machines as i said the world's your oyster. You can make whatever you like, really. And um, she seems, seems really, really happy with uh, the coat. So I thought I'd model that today. And as I said, she's still very, very happy with her little ball. So that's Coco. So, yes, and I just wanted to finish off just saying that uh, if you wanted to buy one of these machines, they, they go from... 
I don't know, I've seen them online for £7 and I've seen them for £200. Um, this one, as I said, is, is the decals are slightly rubbed off, but it doesn't take away the charm of the machine or the way that it works. As I said, I, I oiled it, I've made sure that it's um, regularly oiled and the needle is just easy, it's up and down, it's very, very easy. And I love using it. And it's so simple. And if I can use it, you can use it. Believe me, it's so simple to use. And there's so many things you can make. And I said in my previous video, I've made some seed packets where I sewed round the, the packet. And um, it keeps the seeds inside. That's a really ingenious way of keeping seeds um, in a packet and it doesn't fall out or anything and easy to make on the sewing machine, you don't need any glue. Um, so anyway, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to show you how I was getting on with the machine and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye bye.